What's up, my friends? Welcome back to Dragon Age Awakening. Here we are with Aridan, Anders, Sigrun, and Justice. We are about to go into this Fade Tear, or... I don't know if it actually dispels the Fade Tear. I'm pretty sure it does. I don't think we had to do anything else, no? Nah, we just put the bones in here. Anyways, we're about to go in there, knock this Fade Tear down, go over there, summon this dragon, whoop its ass. It seems like this Baroness, or whatever she was, the Codex stated that she went over and dealt with the dragon, but since we have this bones here and it seems like it's doing some kind of ritual, it doesn't look like she actually killed it. She probably banished the uh, dragon or something. So let's just go ahead and put all the slots in there and go summon the foul beast. What does that even do? You locate the dragon skeleton, but it is still missing two bones. Here. Let's get started. Have that friend. You know, I was half expecting to have to do something again. When I first looked at this, I'm like, wait. We didn't deal with the Fade Terror there. But then again, I didn't know what the hell he would have had to do. So let's just go in here then. I'm happy that this whole dragon, once you put the bones in there, it uh, deals with that. Different. How is your death different from mine? My death was symbolic. I entered the Legion and thus my old life ended. But I imagine death will catch up with me soon enough. Don't you worry. I do not worry. I was simply curious. I went ahead and respect Justice as well. He is a two-handed warrior. Look at this cool fucking sword, friends. Holy moly. Look at it. If we were a two-handed warrior, we would be getting... Giving mighty blows with fucking style. Anyways, have fun with that, Justice. You're gonna love it, friend. All right, time to die, dragon. Let's see if we have any electricity stuff. Nature. Electricity resistance, we got a small one. We might as well just give it to Aridan then. Come here, dragon. You know, I probably should have gave it to Sig Rune. Or Anders. Let's get over to Justice. He's <laughs> Hell yeah, Justice. You're giving that dragon a kiss already, friend. Justice is getting his ass whooped. I think we probably are going to have to force field him. Let's see if we can crush and prison the dragon. Get sick rune. Get behind him, Sigrun. Oh yeah. Somebody's weapon must have, I guess, paralyzed the dragon. Sigrun can get him for like one backstab before he go ahead and kicks. It's Aridin. All right, Aridin's in the air. Go ahead and misdirection hex him. Justice is back on his feet. Let's hit Aridin with a life ward. Regen Aridin. Let's see. What does this do? Heroic offense. Let's cast that on Sigrun. Just tear him up, Siggy. We're going to have to go out a little bit. Alright, so we don't want everybody on that one. We want everybody on the same one here. Let's make this quick, shall we? Work on this one. We want to get on Anders, probably. You know, I want to throw a fireball. It's probably not a good idea. Oh. Work on this one. Let's throw a fireball over here. Work on this one. Oh, 
Oh, this is close. Hang in there. We got this. There we go. Oh, she resisted. I think I used that a bit too early. Anders has blood magic on. Let's get it off. Get a heal. Dragon is back up, baby. Heal Siggy. And she took a beast of a hit. Everyone is hurting pretty bad. Justice, take your corpse ass a fucking potion. Anders, take a potion. Oh, you put blood magic on. You sucker, you. All right, well, that's fine. Let's hit him with regen, then. Anders, you're... Kind of hurting. Justice, take a potion. Sig Rune is hurting pretty bad. Can we take a potion with Siggy? Hang in there, girl. Anders, can you heal? Get that blood magic off. Take another Lyrium. Another heal. Oh, Sig Rune. We're going to have the life warder. See, we can regenerate as well. What's the dragon's health looking like? She's about halfway, a little under halfway. That's fine. Go ahead and take another potion. Justice, take your dead ass. Another potion, friend. You better take a potion. There we go. Get Sig Rune on this one. Anders. Go ahead and throw a fireball over here. Look at Eridan over there taunting. Where'd that fireball go? Anders, where'd your fireball go? Alright, well that is definitely not working. We'll get everybody on the same one. Oh. Get on this one. On this one. It's gonna be a close one. And then this one. How about this one, friends? I'm pretty sure she just gets energy from it. Maybe? I don't really know. Alright, dragon's back on board. Crush in prison. Try to get Sig Room behind him. Justice, you fucking wimp. Alright, Justice is down, which is fine. Can you get him up, Anders? Back at it, Justice. Get back in there. Go ahead and heal him. Oh, man. He's almost fucking wrecked already. Sig Rune. Take a heal. Justice, take another heal. Get behind him. That's your best bet. Stay behind him with Sig Rune. Man, this dragon's kind of rough. What's her health looking like? Almost there. How you doing, Eridan? Get some armor on board. Massacre! Anders. Blood magic off. Take a Lyrium potion. Go ahead and heal. Man, Sig Root almost got wrecked there. Let's hit it with another life ward. Regen. Anders, hang in there. Alright, they got more of this crap. Go ahead and work on this one. This one. This one. Work on that one. Go ahead and get it, guys. <laughs> this is going to be a close one. Oh, yeah, by yourself, Anders. And we got one in there. It's all good. Crush in prison. Heal. Let's go ahead and heal Sigrun. 
Regen on Sigrun. Oh, Anders. You got pulled in, friend. Get Anders out of here. If you can. Damn, Anders, you're getting wrecked. Let's heal Justice. To Aroden. Perfect striking on board. Let's war cry. Come here, sick rune. Whoop her ass up. You can usually get off like it seems like one backstab. Oh, here we go. Before she goes ahead and drop kicks her. Hang in there. Easy peasy, I think. That was actually a tough fight. You killed the strange dragon that came through the terror in the veil. Queen of the Black Marsh, friends. Go ahead and just take everything. Eldest dragon bone? Ooh. Work to the bone. Sounds like something for you, Wade. You found a bone from an ancient dragon. Someone must be able to do something interesting with such a unique material. Alright, well that was a really fucking awesome fight. Pretty tough. Definitely, I would say the hardest dragon in the game. I don't think Flemeth or that dragon at the... Uh, what was that place? Sacred Ashes? I don't think that dragon has anything on that. But... We're officially done with the Black Marsh. Let's do a look at the journal, though, just to make sure. Speak to Veril. The architect, a sapient darkspawn, is at war with someone called the Mother. The Great Wardens are somehow caught in the middle. Now, reports indicate a large darkspawn army is on the move. Speak to Veril about the situation. Well, we can go off and end this DLC now, friends. I do want to get done a little bit more. Um... At least some of the stuff in Amaranthine. It doesn't matter. It literally plays no effect in doing what we need to do to get the ultimate ending, I guess. The best ending. The ending that I think Aridin's going to get. But I don't think it even matters. But I'll still do it. Mother? It comes with sweet news, I hope. Tell the mother. The first, it is dead. The Grey Wardens are gone from the marsh. Wicked, wicked Wardens. They killed the first, killed him. Cut out the mother's heart. <laughs> but was it not the mother who wished him dead? Again, to hear the sweet call. We are all lost, but the day will come when the silence ends. <laughs> Even for me. Well, she seems unhinged. Who would have thought? Alright, what's up, Justice? You're here. Go ahead and take this off so I can actually see you, friend. Let's just turn... Oh, here we go. Kristoff. Oh, thank the Maker. I fear you are mistaken, mortal. Kristoff? Why are you... What has happened? You were Kristoff's wife? I mean, she still is his wife. That would be just a slap in her face. Um, perhaps you should... Calm down a little, ma'am? Calm down? Calm down? Your husband is gone, and I inhabit this body now. His death will be avenged, I assure you. Avenged? 
You've desecrated his body, how dare you? It was not intentional. There was... Get away from me! This body has memories of this woman. Aura is her name. I did not know she would come. Poor woman, it must be a shock to see your damn husband a walking fucking corpse. I must rectify this somehow. Intentionally or not, I have done this woman a great disservice. Where the hell will we even look for her, Kristoff? My memories suggest her home is in Amaranthine. It will prey on me if we do not seek her out. There must be something that could be done to assuage her pain. Something. I'll see what we can do then, friend. The Darkspawn call our attention, but should we get the chance to seek her out, I would be grateful. Well, we're definitely going to seek her out. Justice for Kristoff. Aura, Kristoff's wife, came to Vigil's Keep in search of her husband. She was understandably upset after Justice explained that Kristoff is dead and he inhabits the fucking body like a stinking wretch. Fate Spirit now inhabits his body. Justice hopes to soothe Aura's pain by visiting her again at the home in City of Amaranthine. Well, we'll go there and do that. Actually, sooner rather than later because, I mean, we can go inside, which I will, and then see if we can talk to anybody. But, I'm pretty sure we're fucking done. Come here, Wade. Yes, Commander? I got an ancient dragon bone. Can you do something with it? Where did you find this... I could make a blade. A blade unparalleled. Oh my, oh my. Where's that list? Quick, gather these things. Hurry, there's history to make here. Alright, well we have more stuff for Wade. Sadly. You're back. You need anything? I don't think I'll be doing Wade's quest, friends. It's a lot of running around and a lot of stuff that I probably don't have. And I kind of just want to get to the story here. Oh! Of course. Let's get justice. Some armor here. We want the heavy ones. We don't want the... Grey Warden heavy helmet. Don't want the massive ones. Heavy gloves. Grey Warden heavy boots. And Grey Warden Heavy Armor. Alright, well, come here, Justice. Let me put this good stuff on you, friend. There we go. We'll keep this stuff on him as it is. I mean, we got some cool things here, too. Anders, what do you got, friend? We'll give that to Valana. Give that a sig rune. That's really fucking good. Here. What the hell was that fire? All right, well let's turn in other stuff here. The lads are hard at work. They're explosives. <laughs> Why do spirits seek out mages? I've always wondered. You speak of demons. I am not a demon. Aren't demons simply spirits with unique and sparkling personalities? They have been perverted by their desires. But what do they want from mages? Perhaps they wish the same as I. Silence! Let's go inside, huh? Commander. Excuse me, ma'am. Just give me a moment. Nothing! The way I like it. The hell was that? That was weird. Need something pummeled? Yes. Right. Need something pummeled? Yes. Sailor. A hot meal would be nice right about now. Just unsettling. Sleeping on this ceiling. This is where we can just start the end of the game here, the end of the game crawl. But let's not do that yet. We still have some things to do. I don't think we should dally. Should we get a move on? Damn right. This world of yours is far more... This should be easy. This is a chest of belongings once owned by the man whose body I now inhabit. His essence lingers upon these objects like dust.
You can feel it? I can even hear it whispering his name into the ether, in the Fade. Nothing outlives the spirit that created it. Here, everything does. This world has fingerprints on top of fingerprints. Witness to beings long dead. So he thinks that a spirit made the Fade. I guess he's not calling it like the Maker, he's just a powerful spirit that made the Fade. That's pretty interesting. Can you tell anything from these fingerprints? How does one describe a sensation? I have no words for it. The man who owned these things was a great warden like yourself, yes? We intend to avenge him? That's my hope. Good. These darkspawn are a cancer within the heart of this world. <sighs> but there is nothing that can be done just yet, is there? A world so full of beauty that beauty goes overlooked. I must see it with different eyes. Alright, well, let's go ahead and give up some gifts here. Justice. I think that ring is the quest item for him. The let's give him this. I do not know quite how to thank you. How about Christos Mementos, friend? I do not know quite how to thank you. I don't know what else he needs. Christos Locket, here you go. You have my sincere thanks. <laughs> this is the one for the quest, I think. Let's look at other people. Anders. Gold earring. Ooh, for me. Ooh. I'm pretty sure he's good now. Sigrun. No globe. Oh, how nice. I don't think she has anything else in here, friends. No, probably not. Nathaniel Sextant. This is nice. Silver bracers. Thanks. Damn it, that wasn't her. That wasn't his. That was probably Whetstone. This is nice. It was probably um. Maceranas. Damn, that wasn't hers. Here, how about this one? Thank you. This is a lovely gift. Let's see if we can talk to Justice now that we scummed his approval, pretty much. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. Perhaps you should help us instead there, Justice. The spirits consider mortals beyond their reach and beyond help. They do not understand. We are wrong about this world. There is beauty here, and the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. Well, so glad you approve there, Justice. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? You know there are potions made of Lyrium. I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear, but it summons an ache I didn't know I had. I'll see what I can do then, friend. Thank you. That is most kind. Alright, well let's give him the ring now. Excuse me, Justice, but I have a ring for you. Looks like we're getting married, obviously. What is that sound? Such beautiful singing. The stone within this ring. Is it Lyrium? You found it. Just as I asked of you. I am most grateful. You're welcome, Justice. Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, good can be found. How interesting is it that, like a... A whole natural piece of lyrium is so interesting to uh, spirits, friends. He said it sings to him. That's so cool and it's very interesting, huh? Is that the wind? It feels good on my face. It's probably knocking the fucking skin off your face. Alright, well... 
Let's head to Amaranthine, get all that started before we come back here and just end it all. Alright, let's see if we can get some of these quests done, at least. We have the one up here, we have one over there as well. Let's do some level ups first. Sigrun, all decks, obviously. And then... Really don't matter. Let's give her... I guess this one in the stealth, if we ever need stealth. Anders, more magic. And then the shield, blah blah. Let's get over to Aridin. Let's just go and turn stuff in first, then we'll make our way back down here because we have so many fucking quests to do here. What do we have down here? Let's see if this board has anything. Then we'll go to the get the blight orphan stuff. You know what? There was something in here about... Hey, you can't just barge in here. Moonshine. Let's teach this fool a Come lesson. Come on in, friends. Sit down. Get him, Justice. Easy peasy. Dragon's piss. Cool. So we got more stuff for Algren. What was that? Huber wasn't happy about your attempt to steal his moonshine, but you dealt with him. The Blight Orphans are eagerly awaiting the delivery. Cool. Well, let's keep on looking for more shit. Excuse me. It is so good. Oh well, Let's that's done then. Okay, all this stuff's done. Let's go up to the Chanter's board, and then, man, hold on here. Let's get our fucking massive speed boost on. Here's your dagger back. Did I drop this? Oh no, I nicked it from your belt. Old habits die hard, you know. Stealing is wrong. Only if you get caught. And need I remind you that I wasn't caught? Alright, Sigrun. Take his shit. He doesn't need it. What is this? Can we not click on that? It doesn't look like we can. Alright. Excuse me, ma'am. All men are the work of our maker's hands. From the lowest slaves to the highest kings. Alright. Donation of poultices. The Chantry supplies are running low once more. The sisters urgently require a donation of five potent health poultices. Make her turn his gaze on Amaranthine. So what is this out of control one? Oh, this is the Templar one. Alright, well here. Repent and have faith, and you shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. Okay. Cool, well, let's go in here talk to this Templar person. Then... Who knows, friends? Just wing it. May I help you? Come here, I've read your posting on a Chantry's board. I am fortunate indeed that the Commander of the Grey has taken a personal interest in this matter. I'm sorry our note was vague, but Amaranthine is a hotbed of Maleficar activity. Details of who and what they were about would undoubtedly get back to them. Maleficarum here? Apostates and Maleficarum are all too common across the nation, alas. I have worked with an artist to create these sketches of the three suspects. If you could confront them and question them, you would be doing the Maker's work. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll do that. Let's see if we can turn in stuff here. Oh, we got something over here. He hung himself. Oh, Karen, why couldn't you have told me? He was ashamed, lady. That sucks. Poor guy. Can we talk to her? Have you delivered your annual tithe to the Chantry, sir? Aura, please do not be alarmed. I do not wish to frighten you. You? You are the... in my husband's body. I am a spirit of justice. I meant your husband no harm. I would ease your distress had I the power. I knew when he left that this could happen. He told me. 
His father died a Grey Warden, too. Tell me, is there anything I can do for you? Tell me, and I will do it. Avenge him, spirit. I will wait for his ashes a little longer, if it means that whoever did this to him will pay. The Darkspawn. Yes, I understand. And she is gone. Did I do the right thing? I think you did the right thing, Justice. I mean, no point in second-guessing your actions there. She loved this man a great deal, and he loved her. I envy what they had. I must think on this more. But another time, thank you for bringing me here. Anything for you, friend? Let's look at people's approval, because... Justice is about Sigrun's almost max. Anders is probably max. That's fine. I have the gifts in the chest still. I only have a few. I did go ahead and distribute a few of the gifts already. So we may have should have waited because we're probably going to get some disapproval here or approval here with the quest that we do. I can imagine this one is not going to make some people happy. But nonetheless, let's just do it. Being a damn completionist and all. Why can't we talk to the statue? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm trying to talk to you. All right, well, that's that. I guess that's... I don't know. Let's go back to the Blight Orphans and then turn some of that stuff in, pick up more, because I know there's always more. You have to do the whole in and out trick with these guys. Justice disapproved, Nathaniel disapproved, Anders and Valana approved, hell what? yeah. You know what's funny? This is funny, friends. I advise you to do it, or at least just watch. Check this out. Oh, Christoph, it's good to see you back. Did you catch those darkspawn? Ah, uh, I believe it is better to say that they caught him. What do you mean? Him who? It is of no matter, good woman. Thank you for your kindness. It was appreciated. <laughs> Looking to wet your whistle, stranger? No, but Christoph is. Right then, let me know if you change your mind. See so, ya. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got this lady still. We never turned this in yet. Bran, I don't know this person. Is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. Listen up here, Kristoff. I'm Warden Commander Aridin, friend. I see. This... This must be about Keenan then. I... Um... Sweetheart, could you give us a moment alone? Is... is Keenan dead? He died, yes, and wanted me to give you this. His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? To defeat the Darkspawn, we all must make sacrifices, sadly. Keenan made the sacrifice willingly. He never asked me if I felt the same. Love can only take you so far. All right, well, have fun in your endeavors. You gave Keenan's wedding ring to Nida. Well, have fun, lady. Enjoy your other man, I guess. I mean, people move on, friends. It is what it is. We can't do nothing about it. But it seems like she moved on a bit quick. So, that's unfortunate for that poor guy. Alright, well, let's get out here. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a trick here. How about we go back inside now? More quests are going to appear. Kind of wish they would just give you the quest so you didn't have to do the whole in and out trick, you know what I mean? The scavenger hunt. Some of us orphans lost our things while playing in the streets last night. We have a little in life that these things are very important to us our nurse says since someone is looking out for us we should ask for help we lost a pitchfork a hammer soles of a pair of shoes and something appears to be scratched out here a dowel we would also like a pie sure thank you for the book we are having a lot of fun with it we also want to say a big 
Thank you to Mother Lanaya for uh, lending us the book. We got something for her, a bunch of herbs we gathered ourselves. They're in the basket. Can someone put the herbs in Lanaya's bed? It will be a nice surprise for her. And make her bed smell like roses and lavender. Sure, friend. Why not? A present for Melise. Someone should do something about the crazy harpies who get hysterical and try to kill people who are just trying to have a bit of fun. It is probably her sister's fault. She's just as insane as Melise is and someone should do something about her too. Except she lives in Denerum and too far away. The Blight Orphans are afraid of this crazy lady Melise. Someone should scare her away with a scarecrow in front of her house with a knife. Sure, friend. Well, here's the herbs. Isn't there something in here? Like a knife? Here we go. Alright, well let's get outside and attempt to do some more of these damn quests. I believe there's just one more round of them. They're pretty, like, quick. Bump and grab. I mean... There's a hammer up here. I mean, it's just easy-peasy type of stuff here. Then they said something about a pitchfork. You should let Sir Pounce a lot out more. Must be stuffy in that robe. Out? You mean out to play with the Darkspawn? Such a great idea. All right. I see your point. You better let Sir Pounce a lot out, Anders. There's a dial down there. We're gonna find these mages. I don't know where the hell these mages are. I can't really remember. I know they're just kind of walking around. Muttering elf. Yeah, there's one. There's the pie down there. Bloody everywhere. They're Must everywhere, friend. You should stay sharp. Come Tamblers. here, I got it. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. I got a sharp knife for you. Templars. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. Can we fight or what? You bloody bastard! You won't Come catch here. me! You're about to get beyond. Well. On it. There's one damn mage. There's gonna be another one. Remember there being another one on Raptor somewhere, maybe? Oh, there's a soul of shoes! Keep normal. Yes, everything is fine. You're good, ma'am. Don't worry, I won't beat you up. Too bad. Come here. Must keep calm, keep normal. Yes, everything is fine. Ah! Get on board. Let me pee on you, friend. Oh, I can't. <laughs> And brutally murdering these people, man. We don't really know if they're Maleficarum. I mean, they probably are. But... How do we really know? We don't have any evidence on it, you know? Lizard eyes. Perhaps a heart. This one definitely is. Yes. Heart's blood. Hmm. Lizard eyes. Heart. Yes. Heart's blood. Come here, you creepy one. We're gonna fucking throw down, friend. Done and done. As you wish. Sure, I'll take that. And then there's one more over here. The big boss person. Think he's back here? Yeah, he is. Apostate mage. Come here, friend. Now they get what in my blood you will suffer for what you have done to my apprentices. As you wish. Oh yeah, massacre. How about a peons? Right. Then you better hit him, friend. <laughs> See ya, Meiji. And you kill the leader of the apostate mages, return to the chantry for your reward. That would be that, friends. Let's go and get the Scarecrow. Somewhere's over here. That's not gonna yield approval, I can imagine. But it's really just not a big deal. Get our fucking massive speed boost on here. 
We got Aiden's quest and then we got the other one, but they're kind of a crawl and we may have to do that next episode. Oh my god. Sigrid and Justice didn't like that. That's fine. Go in here, because Anders is probably not going to like this. Repent and have faith, and you shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. Oh. They didn't even care. Cool. I thought they would care, like him and Valana. Interesting. Let's see if we can at least finish these ones off. The Blood Orphans, and we'll leave the last two for next episode, but that's... Like, I can't believe how quick we beat Awakening pretty much here. <laughs> Sick Rune hated it. <laughs> Anders and Algren loved it. Hell yeah. You're gonna have Poison Ivy now, lady. Sorry. These, these guys are just, like, swindlers, tricksters, man. They're putting us up to it, man! Alrighty, well, let's go back to our Blight Orphan freaking friends. As you On it. <laughs> you returned all the items for the Blight Orphans. Making amends. The scarecrow was great, except someone knocked it over and smashed it. Malise tomatoes plants. We saw Malise crying over her lost tomatoes, and we were very sorry. We're poor orphan children. We don't know right from wrong. We want to say sorry to Malise. She likes flowers, but we want to make sure Malise doesn't come at us with a rake like she did last time. We can't deliver the flowers ourselves. Will someone find the flowers and put them in front of Malise's house for us? All right, well, let's do that. I'm pretty sure that's probably the last one. There is flowers inside the Chantry, probably. I have no idea, friends. I'm just guessing. I mean, there was a potted plant that was um, hanging outside the Chantry, but we already gave that to Sick Rune, I think. Excuse me, revered mother. You got the itch? Sorry, wasn't me. As you wish. Where the hell they want us to point this at? Oh, right in front of this door. The, the scarecrow was. All right. Here you go. Massive constitution from justice. Massive cunning. From Sigrun. So, what? That shit went down on them, then? Because I'm pretty sure it was already massive. Oh, it's because their stuff went down. A little bit. You know, that's fine. Alright, well... That's probably the end of it. <laughs> I don't fucking know, friends. <laughs> I don't know. Blight Orphans, they are what they are. It's like the ultimate fucking fetch quest. Almost feels... So that's it. In a cell. Uh, please, no one needs to see that. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to save here in Amaranthine. When we get back, we will... Look at the journal first. Trade must flow is bugged. Hearts of the Forest is Wade's quest. I'm not doing. You know, it's unfortunate, but Wade's quest just really don't give you much, friends. It gives you gear. And I believe there's one little codex right up at the end of it. You know how the end of Origins, it has them cool screens with the... Uh, the writings at the top and let you know. I believe there's a sword that Wade makes that's like a legendary. It becomes like a legendary sword in the future or something shit like that. I don't know. Something like that. But it's really not make or break, so we'll probably not do it. And then... Algren's a family man still hasn't triggered. I would say it's probably going to trigger now. Because I think I got his approval up high enough. And then that's it. So it looks like we are going to have Endgame, the start of Endgame next episode. Anyways, friends, take it easy out there. Have a good one. Till next time, stay safe. See you then.